Hello, friends. Welcome in. You guys should all be back from ads for those who had ads. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, let me see here. Let me double check that everything's working, and then we will begin. But in the meantime, how are you all? How's it going? How have you been? How have you been? Let's to see here. All right. Jetpack to the moon and Ooh. back. Ooh. I upgraded Tier two. Jetpack 13 love jetpack 13 love jetpack 13 love. You upgraded. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost ready. Welcome back, Sky Pirates. Asterisk Lagast Asterisk Jetpack 13 enhanced. Alrighty. Okay, I think we are. Good to go. Let's go ahead and move on over here. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Welcoming. Uh, Emmers, you were first, Emmers. How are you today? How's it going? Joss, hello. I think you said that you can't hear us, so I wave at you, Joss. Um, A spark lights the face. Ooh, the hype back. train roars to life. Sassy choo, Lady choo. Panda gifted a tier one sub board. to Axiom Runner. They have given 118 gift subs remember. in the channel. Does this work now? Hold on. Choo choo. All it does. Okay. Uh, one, we have a hype train going, which means you guys can exclamation point choo choo to hear a nice little choo choo. Um, let me continue saying hello to everyone. Uh, Sassy, welcome in. Hello, how are choo -choo. you, Johnzo? You were actually forced this time. Um. Uh, let's see, let's choo -choo. see, let's see. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's so good. There's like four different variations of it, I think. Something like that. It's great. Um, uh, how are you all doing? Let's see. Baz, how are you? Oh, I was going to point out, Sassy, I know this is confusing. That is, that's not Kato as, as we know her. That is Kato's dad, Baz. Hence the name Kato's dad, Baz. Um, so we call him Baz. Um... But welcome in, Baz. Good morning from Brisbane. Uh, 6.24 a.m. Sunny to start with a few showers later on. Oh. Uh, today here, uh, we're getting close to... Actually, we'll be at freezing point today. Uh, but only for the low. We'll be a little bit higher um, uh, above that. But... Uh, that sounds like a wonderful day, Baz. Uh, OMG, I finished the seventh season of Gilmore Girls. What is my life? How did people survive nine years while waiting for the day in the life stuff? So, day in the life is not uh, the seventh season, right? Or, or are you counting that as like the seventh? I can't remember how many there are, but Johnson, what are, what are your thoughts so far? Uh, Baz, with the 10 stream streak. Baz, you've been so... Uh, uh, steadfast and in coming into the stream. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and thank you for the lurk. I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Uh, runner, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, I hope you're having a great day. Also, you guys are noticing uh, we have a new emote. A new animated emote. It is, in fact, in fact, uh, Jetpack13 Kangaroo. Thanks, friendo. Uh, Bam. And too much to bear. Thank you for giving us up to Baz. To we'll get to those all of those in a second. They have given uh, and thank you guys also channel. for the hype train and stuff. So incredible. Um. Uh. So yeah, we now have a kangaroo emote. Uh. I felt I felt like it was needed. We we had using BTTV the Peepo Roo, but people don't. If you don't have BTTV, you don't see that. Um. And you can't use that anywhere else. That's the Peepo Roo. Um, so then, now we have our own though. So we can use it across across the, the channels. Um, also, as a side note, uh, one thing that I changed is now, it does something a little bit different when people do exclamation point Australia. I'll show you what that does. The 
guy night. So now he, he goes across the screen on the kangaroo. Uh, also, the bar is now just up at the top normally, uh, and it, it it grows in size just for for this, and then it'll boop, it'll go back up top. Um, so uh, so yeah, I th I really like <laughs> I like how it's 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 turned out great. Um, but uh, I also. And I'll catch up with chat. I also had to like break out some skills that I didn't. Wait, I had the skills, and I've had the tools. I just didn't know how the tools worked. If that makes sense. Um, let's see it again. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. It. <laughs> it's so good. Um, uh. Typically, I've had, like, sources move with my stream deck. Like, I had to program in there, like, all right, it goes from this pixel to this one. It it gets from goes from this scale to this scale. Um, I've had something installed in uh, OBS that it's, it's, um, so, like, when I move from here to here, you see how, like, things move, and it's, like, like the follower thing here. It's time to just like as the hype train slightly moves. Its end. Friends, thank you so much for the hype train. Thank you. The four gifted friend. subs, incredible. Thank you so much. Um, I'll go through all those thank yous here in a second once I catch up. So that plugin that I have that that lets that like smooth movement. Uh, it also allows you to move sources without changing the scene because what's happening here is I'm changing the scene and it it says hey these items are the same uh, it says these items are the same so they should like smoothly move between between those uh, but you can do that even with sources within the same scene I and I've just never really <laughs> known how to do that um, and I tried to do the little kangaroo jumping with the stream deck, but it it was like not very smooth. Like you could tell it was like kind of choppy. Not the animation, but it was like the movement of it. And then like this scaling up and moving was also kind of like stuttery sort of. And I was like, there has to be a better way. <laughs> and so I I had to look up a little guide, but probably within, it's honestly not that difficult. I've just ignored it for four years. <laughs> um, but I, I, but now it's smooth, and now I'm like, wait, I'm going to have to go back and change, I think, some things that do move with buttons and commands, because it'll just look a lot smoother and better. And I wonder if it runs smoother or better. I don't know. Maybe it's actually worse, but our computer's been acting pretty good. So anyway, hold on. Let me catch up. Uh, Runner, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Sassy with the 70 stream streak. Incredible. You're climbing back up. Uh, Sassy and Emmers and Brad have all all reached 100. But Sassy's in and Emmers' reset when we had some kind of Twitch error. Brad, welcome in. How are you? What I miss? We have a new emote. We have the new kangaroo emote. Um, so that's now So that's now a thing. Uh, and then, uh, when people do exclamation point Australia, the thing is a little bit different this time around. Uh, but Secret, how are you? How's it going? How's your day? Um, and too much to bear. Thank you so much for the five months, but also you upgraded to tier two. Uh, you now have access to the lounge emote, which I think I'm going to update soon. Um, it'll still be like the same idea. I think it's just, it's going to. I'm just gonna kind of up, update it a little bit. Um, but thank you so much for upgrading your sub to a tier two. That's incredible. Thank you very much. That is very generous of you. Um, and Mary, thank you so much for the five. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm doing good. Secret, how are you? Sassy, thank you so much for giving us up, gifting us up to Runner earlier. I appreciate it. Um, we hyping? Uh, no, I can hear my, oh, my sound alert didn't play. Oh, wait. Oh, for some reason. Oh, but it did, it did on the second. What happened, Joss, probably is if it, uh, if you have come in at the same, like, if your message, 
the if it's happening while someone else's sound is playing, it won't count it. It'll it'll wait until um, your next message then. Uh, but Sassy, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Runner. I appreciate that. Honestly, I don't think I even read the whole name, so that's my bad. No, you're totally good. A lot of people call Baz Kato, because it, I mean, it's easy to get confused. Easy to get confused. Nice try, though. Let's see. It's cold and windy in Jersey. I'm in my element. Oh, how, how cold and windy is it over there? Um... Uh, best. Thank you for the lurk. It's an additional four episodes after the seventh season. Okay, I didn't know if 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 it, if it was considered a part of the like, you know, season number. But what are I don't know if you've answered this, but Johnson, what are your thoughts of Gilmore Girls now that you finished the seven main seasons? What do you think? Uh, and too much to bear. Thank you for gifting us up to Baz. I appreciate that. And again, everyone, thank you so much for the hype train. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the show's amazing. You did answer. Okay, I get it now. I was blind, but now I see. Also, I really, really dislike Logan. I don't like Logan. I gotta say. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Look, Brad. <laughs> you... uh, there he goes. Um, I don't know if I'll get rid of this thing. I like that we have something that says the percentage. Um... But now that this will be on the screen the entire time, I don't know if we need this thing popping up, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> mostly I just wanted a kangaroo emo. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, isn't the show so good, Jonzo? It's, fa it's a fantastic, fantastic show. I honestly, the writing is so good. I think the characters are good. Yeah, Logan, I don't like Logan. Team Jess all the way. Uh, I think in an ideal world, maybe, uh, gosh, what's his name? Dean, but it's Jess. Jess is the answer. Uh, <laughs> I love it, adorable. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, oh yeah, and so now any of the, the little like, um, what are those called? Like timed messages that Say mention Australia now. I'll have that. That they used to have the Pipo Roo, uh, but now they have uh, our kangaroo emote in place. Uh, you have so much fancy things, things I probably have never noticed. It, it's that you know, it's one of those things where it's like kind of good if if people don't notice because it's it should run smoothly enough where it's not like uh interruptive or like too distracting. Uh, we've, we've had this little, like, smooth moving thing for a long time. Um, cause we don't have, like, a screen wipe. Um, uh, like a scene transition. Uh, so, everything just kind of moves. We might get a, we might have one eventually. I have an idea for one, but it would take a lot of work <laughs> to do, so. Jealous of all the fancy things. It's honestly not that the the move thing is not super fancy. It's honestly I've had it forever. I just have not used it because I didn't know how to. <laughs> um, it was also kind of confusing. Tbh, I know I said that it wasn't that difficult, but there was something that tripped me up. <laughs> I know I just am a liar, <laughs> but um, what was kind of confusing is typically. Uh, like, for example, like, okay, you know that I Why use a green screen. Yes. Can't, sad it can't end yet. It's because someone used it just a minute or two ago, Yemet. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, cause, I, so I have a green screen, right? So there is a filter on my camera source, like on the camera, that's, that is filtering out the green. Uh, other sources have filters that you can put on them that do different things. So I was trying to, when I was trying to get the things, to, the, the kangaroo thing to move, I figured you need to put the filter on the item. Cause that's what, how everything else works. Like on the source itself. So like on the kangaroo source, I must input the move action there. Uh, that is incorrect. You actually put the filter 
on the scene. So we are in the just chatting scene. So the filter goes on like that instead of the source, which is like, you know, the chat box is a source, my camera is a source, the the goals and stuff, those are sources. So like, it was kind of confusing and I was like, how do you get this to work? So I had to watch a little video. And then once I figured it out, I was like, ah, I see. And now it's like, I could easily do it now with anything. Um, Brad, thank you so much for the 105 stream streak. Daz, step away from the kangaroo. Did you Have you seen the kangaroo yet? The multiple kangaroos? Uh, I'm so busy. Oh no, what's, what is work keeping you busy? Uh, no. Well, one, we have a new, we have a kangaroo emote. So we have a new animated uh, kangaroo emote. It's me riding a kangaroo. Uh, and then uh, you can get a better look at it when people do exclamation point Australia. Crikey. He now goes across the screen uh, <laughs> and I'm very happy with it. Uh, yeah, so too much to bear. You're one of the few people who have access to the lounge emote. Uh, it's like you, Gilmore, and like one other person, I think. And me. Fantastic. <laughs> Daz, how are you doing, though? Um, I wanted to get together with someone, and I wanted to see them on this Friday, and it didn't work. The next day, I'm freeze December 21st. Secret, how are you that busy? <laughs> I was it that it's that many mo What? Uh, yeah, too soon with someone else's. Uh, let's see, let's see. The writing rocks. The wit and humor is amazing. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love Gilmore Girls. It's very good. Um, step away from the kangaroo. It's actually that's even greater now. See, like now that you've seen the emote, because <laughs> I assume writing a kangaroo is not recommended. Uh, yeah, how's Ralphie? Uh, I'm sure Ralphie is doing wonderful. He's always just napping away in Daz's stream. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll get rid of the one that pops up with the, um, percentage, but I like having a percent. It's kind of nice to have multiple numbers to, like, see increase. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I like seeing that the total increase, like, or not the total, the current, current total, I guess. It's a to yeah, total. The current total, I like seeing go up, but having also the percentage go up is nice, too. But it seems like a, a, a redundant reminder, because now this is on the screen. Like the on-screen math challenge you're imposing on yourself, yeah. It, that is true. I feel like if we if we got rid of the percentage we would get rid of the amount of times I have to say, please somebody help me. <laughs> I need help. I cannot math. Uh, I should not be left to my own devices uh, without a calculator. Uh, but side note, though I think that's all the, the new stuff. Um, uh, it, it Really, it's not anything too exciting, but I, I do like how it, it moves and I don't know the, the, the email turned out nice and uh, having to learn the move action filter was it was just it was just very good so I felt very proud of that um, but today friends it's Steam Next Fest uh, it's it started um, so there are so many demos to play so many demos so many things. I think, though, if I remember, I guess I can start opening this because we'll be moving into the demos. Um, I have 13 downloaded. And there was another one that I was going to download because I forgot about it. Um, but uh, I, this time around, I am not going to go crazy with... Um, with demos. Last time, it was it, we just had so many, and it, I feel like there's this pressure to 
like get to all of them, but also try to like give them an equal amount of time and all of that. And it's exas exacerbated when you have like when I have a list of like 30 that I want to that I want to do. So I was like, you know what? We're going to scale it back a little bit. I'm only going to choose ones that I'm like either convinced that I already want to play or uh, that kind of surprised me in some way when I'm looking at their, their store page. Um, so there's actually, hold on. There was one that I saw. It was called Curse something Curse that I need to find. Uh, and it looks cool. Uh, it's like a... I just search for Curse. Curse Bane. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curse Bane. Download. Uh, I have not tested any of these, and so I don't know if these demos are going to work. Um, uh, Foxy Game Dev, welcome in. Milumi, I don't know. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Should, should I add it to my list? I assume that is your game. <laughs> um, so, uh, it, it's my game. Fair. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. But welcome in. How are you? It must be very exciting and probably nerve wracking, I guess, to have a game for Steam Next Fest. <laughs> that's what it's. That's what I would guess. It's on my list. Sassy has it on on her list. Incredible. Um, very excited and exhausted. I bet. <laughs> I can only imagine what it's like, uh, especially as like a, a I, I assume an indie dev. Um, to have like a game demo out and stuff that has to be, that has to be pretty wild. Um, where are we? Uh, I will say, I feel like the, um, navigation for this Steam Next Fest, I don't think it's as good as it was before. Has, can anyone agree with me or disagree with me. Ooh, this looks fun. I will add it to I will add it to the list. I do enjoy a good puzzle game and that is a very adorable sheep. So, you've got me there. <laughs> um Uh it felt clunky. I agree. It felt clunky. I it, before um, or the, the last one, I mean, like they had those little categories that were like based on genre, but then they just had like a super long list and it was the, um, it was like a longer bar. Maybe the, the picture, like the, uh, what's it called? Like the capsule image of the game was smaller, but it had like the title, the genres, maybe the developer. And you had like then the demo buttons right next to like uh, in a list or like add to library or whatever. And you could like just scroll through all of them. Uh, and I think the order would, sh would stay the same. And uh, and Fox, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, uh, I'm I'm sure we'll enjoy your game. I I do I do enjoy a good puzzle game. So, um, but. Uh, this time it's, I feel like there were certain games that I knew were going to have demos and I could not find them on the, on the list. And I know like if you go to their page, it says Steam Next Fest, whatever. So like they're a part of the, the thing, but it was much harder to find, um, uh, games, I think. So I don't know. Um... If not, it will make it even better for the release. No, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. Where, whereabouts are you from, uh, Fox? And actually, is it Fox Id or like Fox Id or just Fox? Um, I was looking for the full list of every single game, and there wasn't one that I could find. Yes, I 100% agree. 
dissipated man. Oh, you're from Germany. Oh, the very cool. Well, guten Tag. Favorite streamer. Uh, and Giant Warrior Studio. How's it going? Uh, I'll I'll take a suggestion. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but I'll I'll take a suggestion. You if you're you're more than uh will not willing. You're more than welcome. There we go. To to tell us what what game you you're doing. Uh, or, you know, making, I guess. I don't know why I said doing. Sounds like we're all playing some Illumi, right? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, well, a Guten Tag, or I suppose it is nighttime, which means, wait for it. Um, isn't it like Guten Haben? No, what is that? What does that mean? I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Is that good night? What is that? <laughs> what have I said? Oh no. <laughs> um, uh, I'm with uh, Nougat Monster Meals. It's a cooking game in pixel art with cute monsters. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Let me uh, can pull that up. Uh, let's see. As a side note, uh, I I do play on a Steam Deck, uh, and yeah, I do play on a Steam Deck. So, uh, and I always tell people this when we play demos. A lot of times, uh, the demos are not like ready for the Steam Deck. So if something's not working, it's not. It's probably not a reflection on the game. It is probably the fact that it is uh, the Steam Deck itself. Well, I I really like the art style of this game. It's awesome. Kind of like a, a restaurant manager kind of thing, like overcooked dish. I'll download it. Um, but uh, uh, also, again, I have not tested anything. Because <laughs> um, uh, I basically... Um, uh, I had a meeting this morning for work and then was like it, it updated <laughs> while like during the like Steam updated during the meeting. And so I was like, as <laughs> the meeting was going, I just started downloading demos. Um, and so uh, I have not had a chance to try out any of these. Last time we ran into a few issues where like the game just couldn't work. It, again, it just wasn't optimize for the Steam Deck or, you know, all that. Or, or or maybe there was something that I needed to figure out. Because sometimes you have to change some settings on the Steam Deck in order to get certain games to work. But usually some trial and error and all of that. Um, but, um, so yeah. So it'll be just a wild time. Uh, <laughs> uh, where we, we hope that uh, the things will work. Uh, it's real. Sure, why not? Suggest your game. <laughs> I'll bet <laughs> all of these devs are coming in to suggest their, their game. Uh, lurking while playing games, but both uh, Malumi and Monster Meal sound right up my alley. Download it. That's wonderful. Is the list looking fire this time? There, th We have... So I, I've been pretty selective this time around. Because last time I, I chose like 30 demos. Uh, and I decided to lessen that. I think before stream started, I think I only had like 13 or 14, something like that. Super Reactor. It's an arcade type game. Oops, that's not how you spell that. Ooh. A bullet hell? Oh boy. <laughs> I am very bad at those, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't know if I'll make it look good. <laughs> but I can try. <laughs> um, it is downloading. Uh, and again, I don't know if we'll get to it today, but but it is on the list. We're going to be playing Steam Next Fest stuff all this week. So... Uh, I feel like I feel that with the difficulty in finding games, my list isn't as long as it could be. At 41? Oh my goodness, Sassy. Yeah, I was like, there were a few games where I was like, this looks good, but I, I'm i going to skip it because I, I, 
you know, I'm more on the fence or whatever. There are a crazy amount of inappropriate games on this list. Yes, there are. And I was surprised at how many are like at the forefront. Like the main, like on the default page, it was like lots of them were just up at the top. And I was like, interesting. This swabby, it's challenging, but the demo is quite forgiving. Okay, we'll that's good. I'm going to need forgiving. <laughs> I'm going to need that. Um, oh, jet Pons! Back. To the moon and back. Oh, Pons. Jet Jetpack 13 Podolol. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 36 months. That is wild. That is three years. That's three years, right? <laughs> 24 plus 12. That's 36. That's basic math. <laughs> three years. Glad to have known you for so long, Opots. I feel the same. Uh, I have to send you a uh, picture that I found um, that I think you, you, you'll just kind of chuckle at. You're probably the longest I've known. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I'm so glad that you've you've hung out with us and stayed with us so long, Opons. It's been a wonderful time. Uh, Opons, case you, uh, it, well, you, you're just coming in. We have a new emote. We have uh, Miana Kangaroo, Jetpack 13 Kangaroo, Euclid's Inferno. I don't think I even saw that. I was saying we were, we we're talking earlier that. The layout for this next fest is not good. Like, I have had trouble finding demos. Uh, and also, when somebody does exclamation point Australia, you get a better look at it. <laughs> there it goes. Very night. There he goes. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see. Fast-paced 2D shooter where math is your enemy. <laughs> okay. You've got me there. Play as the father of geometry. Explore a hellish version of works of ancient mathematicians and defeat polygonal beasts as you upgrade your geometric arsenal. That sounds... I I mean, you have, you have me interested at math is my enemy because it is. Um... <laughs> the the art style looks neat like it it's um very stylish uh which i like um so yeah that's interesting i i really want to start off with one that i think is going to be a very strong contender for like one that i'm very excited about and i think you guys will be too i've been following the development of this for a bit. Um, uh, and it just looks cool. Math is the enemy. Jet has never felt more seen, honestly. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, okay, let me, hopefully, I'm like, please work. I really want you to work. Because I really want to play this demo. Come on. Don't need anything extra. Please don't need like act. What is direct X? Please don't need any of that installed because it always takes forever on the Steam Deck. And I remember figuring out how to do it last time, but I it have since forgotten. It hasn't opened yet. It's still at the. The stop button has shown up, but. But nothing else is happening. It says it's running. I see nothing. <laughs> uh, but I do see a lot of sus stuff up on the page more than usual. We were just talking about that as well. Yes. <clears throat> um, uh, very, yeah, very, very odd. <laughs> I, I feel like, hmm, hold on. I'm going to stop. What if we do properties, compatibility, switch that to there. All right. Now, please work. The precinct looks interesting. I didn't download it though. Neon Blood is on my list of, of demos to try. That one looks super cool. Uh, Sopa I didn't download, but it, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. Um, yeah, the the on the, like when I clicked on 
the main page of like the you know the banner of Steam Next Fest. Um, I think it's working. It's working. Oh gosh. I'm so excited. Hold on. <laughs> I've been wanting to play this for, I mean, like I've seen the demo, not the demo. I've seen the uh, dev on Twitter uh, show like clips of this. And it, uh, I just, I am, I'm hoping this is good. Overthrown, is the name of the, the, the game, is releasing an, into early access as it needs a bit more time to cook before it's fully complete. There are still many more features to add to the game before we release it into 1.0, and your feedback will help us create this game together. You might also run into a few bugs. You can drop any ideas or feedback you may have on our Discord server, where we are very active. Thank you for your understanding, and thank you to the community for all the support you've given uh, to us during our development, uh, development brimstone. All right. Uh, this is like... I mean, I don't... What? <laughs> Look at their credits. Incredible. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, as a, a, that's amazing. Um, so, this is like a farm sim city builder, but it is wild <laughs> uh, what you can do in it. It's like you have superpowers, basically. Our world will be called Jetopia. There are two biomes, they said in the, the demo. So seaside cliffs or foothills, we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna do single player, it is co-op. Uh, you can do like super cool things in it. Which game is this? This is called Overthrown. It is a like city builder farm sim combat kind of game. Um, and uh, I, I've been very much looking forward to trying this out. Again, I've been following the dev on Twitter for a bit and um, this was like one of my number one, like I want to play this demo. I was actually very surprised that they even had a demo. Uh, I, did, I didn't know they were until I think yesterday. And I was like, what? Sand looked interesting. Yeah, sand sand looked pretty uh, pretty cool. I didn't download it though. I, would, I think I need to see more. I wanna see more of that game before I commit. Um, wait, fighting and farm sim? Yes, and it's co-op. Uh, like it has online co-op. Um, and I, f I forget if you can play like with four people, maybe something like that, but you will see Emmers, you're going to love this. Like the things that you can do in this is it's wild. <laughs> I, I kind of don't want you guys to look at the page yet until I can show you guys some of it. I hope it runs well in the steam deck. Um, it probably won't <laughs> as I feel like most things don't, um, uh, when they're in like their demo phase. Um, but I'm hoping it, it does because I really want to play this game. Too late. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, it's good. It's probably good that you guys go to those pages. But uh, for everyone else who hasn't seen, don't go yet. I won't look anymore. No, no, no. You're fine. You, you, do, you do you. Entering world. <sighs> okay. Um. We may, maybe I'll, I don't, I don't know if I'll have to like lower graphics. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at this. This is how you move about drift. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Uh, what's awesome. Takedown. Uh, dang. L this is how you farm. And then you can get like, <laughs> it's, it's just, it's, I love this so much. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I have a backpack or something. She's Sanic. Yeah. So she, you're a super Saiyan basically. Imagine playing this, uh, <laughs> incredible. Imagine playing this in co-op. That's how you forest, isn't? Is it not like? What is enable grid? Ah, okay, so that's for like placement. Oh, 
Oh, what? Look at that. Imagine being able to place things like... Wait. How would I... Oh, build mode. So, okay. If you enable grid, and then... Oh! Place, instead of... Okay, very cool. But, gosh, hold on. I just need to do this for a little bit more. Oh, what is that? Ow. Hold on. Okay, I need to stop holding jump. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, wait. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> okay, you're so speedy. Ow. Nope. Jump. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my timing. It's just, it's so fast. There we go. Look at it. We're, we're here. What is this? I have a crown now. What does that do? Okay, so yeah, you can also punch. Oh, so I assume this is what I should be doing to, like, to harvest, like, things. <laughs> That's perfect. I love that it's... So for me, my chat is, uh, like, um reversed so it actually looks like the crown is um on top of the the keki map so hold on can i like chop this even further oh i really want this game i've been watching it. its development yeah that's the same valk this is that this is the first demo that i was like i have to oh you even have like air kicks oh my goodness this is going to be a game that we play uh because i'm so here for it Oh, okay, so that's dash. All right, so that's probably if I want to do, like, a short-range thing instead of, like, um, uh, instead of, you know, yeah. Zoom Sonic style. <laughs> um, so, okay, hold on. Is there, like, wait, new citizens are steadily recruited to fill vacant work sites. Is there, like, a map? There is. So that's me. Is there like... There's nothing right now. Right? It doesn't look like there is anything. So I, I bet what I need to do... Wait, what is... What is that? Was that the tree that I was just at? No. So do we just find a, a place to call our own? Maybe we do. What is this over here? Control, uh, yeah, to dash. Oh, I see. And now I'm like, now I'm like sprinting a bit more, right? Was, am I sprinting more than I was before? I can't tell. Is there like, how do I, oh, hello. Is there like a super jump? Uh, I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> but I, I kind of... I feel like I did something cool. Um, okay, so this also said... Wait a minute. I guess I could check the map. Let's go to a river. Can I put like a... Oh, what's that? Uh... I need to go north. All right, yeah, this seems like a good place to build stuff. Why not? Okay, so build mode, build menu, government, town hall, recruits new citizens at a steady rate until all jobs are filled. Uh, rotate. What is mirror? Oh, okay, so it's like changing the, it's mirroring the building itself. Hmm. Let's do that. Done. Hello, Arthur and Piper and Jai. Uh, enter? Visiting. Okay, I don't know what we do here. 
Now what? Build a sawmill. Gathering. Sawmill. Em employs a sawyer who cuts down trees and gathers wood. Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, so Piper is doing that. Can I, like... I lift. Yeah. Can I like give this to the sawmill? <laughs> oh, it does work like that. Okay, I thought so. I, I, cause I remember that from the. Oh, no, it's not what I'm to do. Yeah. From the um. Yeah. Isn't this wonderful? I love this so much. Uh, there we go. We need, like, more strength. Oh, I have a sword now. I... How did I do that? How did I pull up the... Oh, maybe the mouse wheel? And what is this? Is that, a, like, a repair tool? Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Secret. We're playing this demo of a game that I have been looking forward to for a very long time. It's a, like, city builder, farm simish type game. And I love it so much. I love it already. I want this. I want this. I want it. I need it. So much. I think... I wonder when it's going to release. It's probably a 2025 game. Do you have a demo spot in the Discord? Yes, yeah, so uh, there is under general gaming, I've created a thread where you guys can uh, post in there any demos that you play. And you can let us also know like what you thought of the demo. Y yeah, just yeeting it. And again, oh, oh, this is also a thing. Yeah, look at this. You can you can run on water. It is I love this. I love all of it. I need this so bad. <laughs> Man, I hope we get a code for this game. <laughs> Yo, yeah, isn't isn't that so cool? I'm telling you when I saw the uh dev post like um uh, there we go, build menu. Um, what did it want us to do? Research frontier settlement. We have 14 out of 15 knowledge. Employed citizens gather knowledge. Okay. Nice. So we didn't actually, we were fine. Frontier settlement. Unlock the necessary basics to keep your citizens alive in the long run. Unlock the townhouse, outhouse, soup kitchen, charcoal kiln, storehouse, pantry, clear land. Okay. I'm wishlisting it. Yeah, it's super good. Uh, I'm already... Let's see. They need a house. Is this what this is? Clear land. Removes any roads. No, no, no. Uh, farming... Oh, it's an amenity. Consumes fuel to restore rest for up to three nearby citizens. Oops. Where is... Uh... What do those blocks mean? Like the red... It's fine. Okay. Puts fuel. Ah, and it shows like who's who. Alright, we only have three citizens. Um so we don't need to build another one yet. They probably need to go to the bathroom, if I were to guess. Restores bladder. Is that what it says? Bladder for up to five nearby citizens, generating fertilizer as byproduct. Incredible. 
put that... I mean, you probably don't want to, like, live by the outhouse, but... You know. What can you do? Soup kitchen? Uh... Luckily, we have uh, we we have all the lumber for this. Um, put you here. How does this work? Consumes vegetables to feed up to fifteen nearby citizens. Now I am holding vegetables. Do they need to go somewhere? There, it probably does. Gathering turns logs into fuel. That seems important because uh, it said something about. The house is a storehouse. Increases maximum storage capacity for all resources by 300 per storehouse. But hold on. Can you put this right here? Let's sit right there. There you go. Do I need to... Oh, you're going to work there. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, what else do we need? So for that, we're going to need more lumber. Farming. A pantry. Employs a farmer who takes care of nearby farm plots and forges in the wild. Okay, so one. We have zero farm plots. Let's, uh... We're going to put it up here. I guess you can just build anywhere. Like, it doesn't need to be super close. I guess the only thing is, like, if you build too far away, you probably want to... Oh, interesting. You can still place it without having the, the wood available. Uh, I guess the um, the only thing is like uh, you'll have to build homes and stuff near it. Because otherwise it's it's like I guess they, they'll get mad. They'll be sad. Uh, it looks like we have so we have three people living here. They have a happiness of five. And we have 38% brain. <laughs> I think that's what that is. This demo endless? No, I think they said there's two years, maybe, that you can do. Um, if I recall. Uh, I'm trying to remember the tweet, but I think it said... You are you are limited to two years, uh, but it is I, I for those who were not here. It is actually a, it is co-op. I played one last time, felt endless, but I want to give them money. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. This uh, is is also co-op, which would be so much fun. Takumi, where did you come from? We need a house. Do you think is this is this close enough to you or like I don't know I don't know what's like too far from amenities townhouse Can I move you after I Hold on Yes, I can. Yeah. Nice. Uh enable grid. There you go. I love it. This would be right. Wouldn't it be fun co-op? I can't remember how many people. Oh, what are you doing? You're just collecting seeds. What, is this a farm plot? What is this? No, oh, no, he's just gathering. All right, hold on. How can I build farming? No, that's what we have. <laughs> um. How do I... How do I live without you? One, well, we do need a storehouse. We can put that... Here. Uh, I just need to get some more lumber. I'm so glad this works so well in the Steam Deck, too. I can tell, like, it, it does that, like, um, like, 
I don't know how to describe it. Um, like almost like a motion blur type type effect. Uh, I can see it definitely doing that um, a little bit, uh, but that's understandable because. Um, oh, I see. You just have to tap. Um, if you tap the the. Uh, I love that noise. Boop. Um, if you tap the dash, you then just start running faster. You don't have to, like, keep dashing. Um. I just, I love this. How much do we have now? Also, looks like we can research farming. We need 75... Place garden tiles and sow vegetables on them with the seed bag at the cost of fertilizer supplied by the uh, composter. Sown crops are ready to harvest after every season change except winter. Unlock the seed bag, com composter, garden plot. Music's nice. Uh, this is overthrown. So cool. I'm so here for this. Like, I'm thinking about, like, imagine playing co-op and you're all just speeding through the forest, like, harvesting things. <laughs> that just seems like the best. I, I like the idea that, um, like, a lot of these types of games are pretty slow. And I feel like there's still, like, a, like a calmness to it. But, I don't know. The, it's the ridiculousness of like running so fast grabbing a tree and then um like running off with it is just i'm just so here for it demo one done on wish listed uh which one was that sassy that's not what i meant to do can we build nice so, when, I wonder why you can go inside. I'm not sure if I need repair one. Something needs repairing? Oh, oh, maybe the help. Oh, town hall maybe? So this would be There we go. Okay, very cool. Um, one day and 12 hours remaining. Prepare for the next outlaw raid, is what this just says. Research butchering to process carcasses. Research excavation to dig. Research metal working to hire soldiers. Interesting. Well, I guess the raiders are coming. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll... Sure, that won't be a problem. Uh, where's the garden plot? There we go. Oh. What do you need for that? Okay. So, all right. Composter generates fertilizer. Let's put that there. Um, so the farmer, do I, should I plant stuff? Oh. Wait. 
Why did stuff grow in? What just happened? Growing a pumpkin. What is this that I have in my hands? Uh, how much do we need here? Let's um, figure this out. This does feel very Super Saiyan. <laughs> I wonder if you get to, like, level up your character at all. Like, increase their throwing distance or, like... I'm so here for this. <laughs> Construction plan. Does that mean that we have enough? Yeah, I guess this the the color turns blue when you have enough. Yeah, there we go. So that generates fertilizer. Um, we have one fifty. Butchering is 150. Nice. Unlocks the Great Sword, Butchery, Wash House, Soper's Workshop. Uh, butchery. Consumes carcasses to feed up to 15 nearby citizens. I assume we'll be able to build, like, roads. Because it says, like, removes any roads. Um, is that... What is this? It'd be kind of nice to build, like, a nice little, like, town plaza or something. We have six people now. We've got a butcher. Um, could we... Garden plot, infrastructure. What did it say? What are you doing here? Inputs carcasses. Fuel. Or that it needs fuel, that was the townhouse. A day and four hours until the raiders attack. I don't know if we're ready for raiders. Didn't say. Unlocks the Great Sword Butchery Wash House Soper's Workshop. The butchery turns carcasses into meals while the Soper's Workshop turns carcasses into soap for the wash house, which increases morale. Unlock a Great Sword. How would one get a Great Sword? Sword. Oh! Oh, I just have it! Uh. Charge. Oh! Very cool. Okay, this might help us with the raiders. Was this the same thing? 
Was... Whoops. So we've got that. Charge. Oh, sprint. I see. So this one, the only thing that it does is is that. Uh, I guess you can't. Well, can you? Oh, you can. Oh! <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, wait. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was so cool. Okay, hold on. I was running. That is dope. I am a big fan. Big fan of that. Um, Door 4 Ultimatum. Never heard of the series, but as the title suggests, there are three others. I think I... The Door series, I'm pretty sure. Insufficient Outhouses. Okay. Let's go. Let's go help. Uh, Q? Build menu? Outhouse. Uh... Put it by the soup kitchen. Okay, 23 hours remaining. Research excavation to dig. We have 139. So, okay, farming, orchards, milling, pie shop, orchard plot. Milling, bakery, alehouse, farmland plot, windmill. Then you can unlock parks coming spring 2025, potion making, gunpowder, powder mill, musket rack, musketeers post, hunting tower, firing drills, incendiaries, explosive shells, shipbuilding, what machinery, woolly domestication, okay. Cloth making, cloth making. So, okay, I wonder if maybe this game, oh, cause it is going into early access. So maybe this is releasing soonish and then it's showing like, this This kind of has built in their like, um, what's it called? Like their, um, wh what do they call that? <laughs> the thing? Where people have updates over, uh, uh, like their build map or like their, you know, whatever. Because it's saying like January 2025 incendiaries. Sounds right up your alley. Hashtag arson. Indeed. I do think I would like that. Um, but then it's like there's also like summer 2025, late summer, I think was one of the spring. Late summer. Slime ranching. What? Levitation engines? Does that mean like sky ships or something? Paper making. I wonder what you can do with paper making. Okay, we need to save our research for excavation, construction. Let's do construction next. That seems like we can maybe make some cool stuff. Um, 19 hours until the raiders come in. Uh, we need 100 more to, to get um, uh, it's nice having a rollout map so you get an idea of how the game will progress yeah a lot of times it's not like built into the game like usually that's just on their steam page or something uh, but it's really cool that they're they're saying in game you can say ah okay this is this is what's coming this is how long it's gonna take them to to get there. I kind of want to see, so there must be like, there must be other creatures around. I, sh I wonder if I should like, after the raiders come in and we hopefully kill them all, um, we should explore a little bit. Oops, that's my bad. 
Uh, and they're upfront about all the features not being available. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, it's nice. I think that's that's very. It's a better way to do things, for sure. Hello. Someone just left all these. Um. Instead of leaving people wondering, like, uh, are they still supporting this? What are they gonna add to the game? All of that. I think that's that's good. Also, I love that I can still have the great sword and not have to. Um, whoops. Uh, and I can still like carry stuff. Uh, where are we at? Two sixty-two. Six people. What is the nineteen percent? What is that? It looks like a brain to me, but I can't tell like what that. Oops. Can't tell what that um. I can't. It's like lightning. So like a brainstorm. That is what. That's what that makes me think. I wonder where the raiders are going to come from. <laughs> also, I love the, like, the character design is really cool. Like, I think the hair is cool. Like, all the details. It's really nice. This is the type of game I would like. <laughs> I really, I, I, I would not mind trying in an early access. And I, I kind of hope. I need to keep an eye out for if they're going to have like a um, content creator codes and stuff. Because I would play this. Wonder I love games that make you feel cool, <laughs> like while, when you're playing, even if it's something like it, not very difficult. Like it, it's not like it's not a, like you're not being very, um, you know, I'm not having like it's not a bunch of button combinations, but it still makes me feel cool. So we're going to unlock construction, a dredger, brickworks, path, street, sidewalk, castle block, castle arch. Castle staircase, two castle staircases, castle <laughs> battlements, and a fence. So what is this? Character. Oh! What? Oh, this is dope. I kind of like that one. This looks pretty neat. Equipment. So what is this? Research. Population. Oh, I see. Ah, interesting. Taxation low. That's very cool. Yeah, I like that. We have 11 hours till they attack. Okay, good. The farmer's doing his thing. Um, extraction. A dredger. Turns fuel into bricks. Does not need to be placed on any specific tile type for now. Uh, rotate. So we now have seven people, which I think means we need another house. Because I think it's three, if I recall. I feel like I'm moving slower for some reason. Why is that? 
Why am I like walking? Uh, wait. Oh, I think I hit toggle run. I think that's what I did. Um, townhouse. And I, we might need more heating. Where was that? This panda saw you eating a tree and was all, that's a thing. <laughs> it's such a cool, like, it's such a cool concept. Uh, wait. The charcoal kiln. Employs apparently nobody. Or maybe not currently. Do we need more? Well, it doesn't say we need more. How much of this do we have? 126? Wait a minute. What is... What? Was that just by doing... Does that do something? How did I... It's so hard to do with a keyboard. How did I spin? How was I spinning? I wonder if that... We have seven, maybe if I... Maybe if I do bigger movements, no? Wait, research available. We could do an orchard, but I feel like we need to do metalworking excavation. We have seven people. I have a new townhouse. Oh, I apologize. The ads are playing. I didn't even recognize, realize that was happening. Um, so hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Uh, charcoal kiln. Is that not? Charcoal kiln. We might need another one. I'm going to put you... Just pure wedding. Yeah, I don't... How was I... So difficult to do. Five hours till the raiders come. So are they... Is it making stuff? It might be. We're at 200. Right, we need... 300 for metalworking. Um, street uh, path, sidewalk, castle block, castle arch, stairs. What would. So do we have enough? Oh, look at that. That's so nice. Imagine. I think we ran out. Or did we? Oh, no. There's just a look. You can only go so far. I see. You guys should be back from ads. Almost in time for the raiders to come in. Just range. Ah, right. Are, uh, so, no, we're about to get attacked by raiders. <laughs> uh, it says in two hours... It's Or it says prepare for the next outlaw raid. So... <laughs> um, I feel like... Look at... This is pretty nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah, it does sound like I'm talking about like we're about to get a raid, though. I don't know. I bet if I was using a controller, 
Yeah, does that, will that do anything? You, it seems like you start to like spin pretty fast. Unlurk before I start work. Baz, I hope uh, work goes well today. We're, we're playing this little city builder right now. Uh, it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, I don't know if people saw this, but I'm very excited to try this out on some raiders. Look at that. I, I love it. <laughs> you can also... Um, if you just, like, stand still... Can do that. I'm very excited. I want to kill. <laughs> okay, we can unlock metalworking now. A shield mine. So do we have a shield now? Also? Off hands. So if I was using this. Oh! Hold on. This sounds like raider music. What's happening? What's happening? Less than one hour? They're coming for the crown. Who is, and from where? Wait. Does it show me what direction they're coming from? Yeah, that's a farmer or somebody. Now, I, I think they can, because you have a repair tool. Wait, they're dying somehow. Where? Where are they? Um, does it show me on the map? Like where are they? Hello? Any outlaws about? But I want to hurt people. <laughs> I, but I was so prepared. What if they're, yeah, what if they are actually just dying in the water? I just got long live the queen. Someone just shot me with an arrow. Jester, welcome in. Yeah, I got sniped. Respawn. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, they are, they are relentless. Oh my gosh. Reclaim your crown. Maybe I should do the, uh, maybe it's, oh, heal with, maybe that's control. Is that control? No. Oh, I'm healing. Oh, you know, oh, it actually was a gun. I didn't realize that. Maybe I should switch my weapon. Hold on. I don't think I'm very good at the combat, <laughs> but I'm dying. I'm dying. We have to, we have to win. Um, nope, not build menu. How is it? Uh, this and my shield. Oh gosh, leave me alone. <laughs> I died again. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They're kind of relentless. Maybe I should, oh my gosh. Hey, you come here. Also, yeah, I'm definitely getting shot at. Okay, that feels better. Um, I totally missed. Okay, hold on. Also, 
how do I do... Am I doing damage to you? I don't think... I feel like I'm not. Defeat the poacher who has taken your crown. Well, I'm trying. It's not working. Let me deal with this person up here. It also, I can tell, oh, shield bash with E. I can tell the, the, it is struggling a bit more in the, the combat, the, uh, the steam deck. Maybe I need to shield bash you first? It doesn't seem to be working. I think this... I wonder if this is currently bugged. Oh, though this is now doing... It's now doing some work. Hold on. It was like... Ugh. I'm trying to do the little... There we go. What's this? Where are these tokens? Leave me alone. Okay, so I feel like I've I've killed a lot of people at this point. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this person ignored me for the longest time. Now I'm trying to heal. Oh, oh boy. Did I die again? I died again. Game is a bit choppy right now. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's struggling. I wonder if it's because there's so many, like... Look, this person just, like... I feel like that's something that should change. Like, I was respawning and they, like... Hey, you. How did I... How did that shouldn't have missed? Hello? Hello? I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like something's happened here. I'm gonna say this is a bug. I should be able to kill this person. This looks cool. I added it to uh, my list to try, but I gotta go shower and get ready for Thanksgiving dinner tonight. Oh, that's right. Happy Thanksgiving. I forget it's Thanksgiving in Canada. Might pop back if I have time before we leave. Brad, I hope you have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I just really want my crown back, TBH. It's, it's not... Is it the weapon that I'm using? Also, I don't know... I feel like there should be a way that I can just, like, hold my shield out. And I'm not sure if I know how to do that. Okay, I think we stop here. <laughs> this one's having trouble. Almost done with the sketch of the last monster. Oh, that's so good. I feel like we have a good idea of how this game works. We have spent like an hour playing it. Uh, an hour plus. Um, but uh, let's go ahead. We can switch to something else. I will say overall, big fan. I think once they fix some things... It's going to be uh, one that I am so here for. Uh, let me exit out of here. I didn't even save the world. I just kind of exited. Um, <clears throat> very cool. Big fan. Really want to play more of that. Um, all right. Next... Let us do, I feel like this one is one that you all will enjoy, I think. I, I feel like it's not too far off from our, like, typical kind of game. Once it, once it loads. Again, while we're waiting. For those who haven't seen, we have a new kangaroo emote. Check that out. Uh, if you do exclamation point Australia, you can see a much bigger version of it. Um, and I, I feel like it turned out real good. I'm very happy with it. There we go. This game is Call of Boba. 
<laughs> and there we go. Right, right. Um, Call of Boba. This is actually a game also that I um, have been following the devs for a bit. I think it's a very adorable looking game. I also like Boba. So this was kind of a... Um, uh, a Boba immediate wish list, right. Um, after graduation, I got lucky and found a job that let me stay in this big city. My living space was simple, but it felt warm. This is where I work. My boss says I'm lucky. I'm the only one... I'm the only new hire this year. Although the work is a bit repetitive, I still feel pretty accomplished. A few years later, after rushing home on the last metro every day, it seems like there's only enough time to sleep. Since I started working, it feels... Oh gosh, it's so fast. You've really disappointed me, my boss told me. Determined to prove myself, I decided to work harder and even harder. H hey! Yes? When I woke up, I was already in the hospital. Oh, did we like pass out? We like overworked ourselves. I quit my job and arrived at the station of the city. Speaking of which, when was the last time I listened to a food podcast? Look at this train. We have arrived. Incredible. I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. Yeah. Tapioca. The tapioca, the train station, I guess. Uh, I do love Boba. I'm a big Boba fan. Um, but we're playing like a little penguin who I believe is starting, we're, we're starting our own Boba place. Oh my goodness. Look at this adorable, adorable Bobo. Oh, I love it. Nothing much has changed here. However, after a long time, I caught the scent of spring. Maybe I should go home first and take a look. Go to the right side of the platform. We always go left first. Roll? Wait. Incredible. I love that there's a roll. I don't think there's any combat in this game, so I'm interested. Ring, ring. Hello? Mom? Ma'am? Bobo! Oh, I was worried you might be too busy to answer. I haven't called much because I didn't want to bother you. How have you been lately? I... I've been okay. That's good. I know you've been working hard. Big cities are competitive, but there are also many opportunities. So many people want to make it out there. Though I miss you a lot, I don't want to hold you back. Just knowing you're doing your best in Ice Latte City makes me so proud. Yeah. Oh, we haven't told her. Mom just wanted to hear your voice. Take care of yourself out there and don't get sick. We must not have told them that we, like, what, what happened. That we quit and all that stuff. Okay. You all take care, too. Don't worry about me. We know. You've always been the most reliable and thoughtful uh, since you were little. All right, go on with your work. I won't keep you, my sweet Bobo. Goodbye, Mom. I couldn't say it. But the car arrived. Going home now would surely disappoint Mom and Dad. Am I no longer their pride now? Will they still love me? Oh gosh, this is <laughs> this is getting heavy. Really pretty art style, though. Like, the pixel art's very good. Also, I love that we're a penguin. I got off the bus not knowing where to go. The commercial street 
has changed so much. The pancake shop has closed down. I used to love going there when I was a kid. Everything has changed. Perhaps I was too impulsive. Maybe I should have stuck it out a bit longer. But... Oh, wait. Where did that tricycle come from? Ah, it's gonna hit me. Oh my gosh. Bang. <laughs> Ouch. That hurts. Stellar. I I'm sorry. Are, are you okay? Did I hurt you? It's not your fault. I wasn't paying attention. Also, I was walking in the middle of the road. I I'm okay. Just fell down. Didn't hit anything. Uh, how about you? Wait a second. You are... Also, we're still upside down. At the same time, Bobo? At the same time, Stellar? Wow, it's really you. It's been so long, Bobo. Aw, look at the eyes. Yeah, we haven't seen each other since you transferred to another school. Yeah, I didn't expect to meet here again. <laughs> By the way, why did you come back? Just wandering around to clear my mind. Yeah, long time no see. Do you want to go have a, uh, something to drink? Sure, sure. I remember you used to say, when you're feeling down, have something sweet. <laughs> Still the same as ever. I know a milk tea shop, and its milk tea is super delicious, especially the special menu made by the manager. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take you there. No, oh, it's right here. That's convenient. Hey, uh, looks like it's closed. Uh, it's open now. Wait, the manager's special? Jetpack. Ross! To and back. Four months. Four months already? Time flies when you're having fun. Four months, that's wild. It feels like it's been forever. <laughs> Why do I feel like I have known you guys for way longer than than that? Raph, how are you? How's your start of your day going? We are playing uh, a bunch of demos. Uh, it is Steam Next Fest has just started today. So there's a bunch of demos out uh, for a bunch of games that are, uh, you know, in the works or upcoming soon. So we're like trying a whole bunch of games. We just played a city builder game that was super cool where you can like uh like typically like for a farm sim, you know, you, you normally have to like chop wood sluggy. But this you were like picking up trees and like chucking them. It was awesome. It's so good. Uh, and now we're playing a game called Call Boba. Uh Sluggy McSlug, welcome in. How are you? Eon Twine, how's it going? Thank you guys so uh, thank you guys uh, for the raid. Appreciate it. People coming in, slugging on in. Um, one, Raiders, welcome in. My name is Jet. We're currently uh, playing a whole bunch of demos because it is Steam Next Fest. Paul, you're playing a game I have on my sites for a while. I, same. Very much the same. Uh, this is just the demo. Again, uh, Steam Next Fest just started today, and so there's a whole bunch of demos out. Um, and uh, yeah, so we just played Overthrown, which was very fun. Um, now we're trying, we just started Call of Boba not too long ago. This one looks so freaking cute, I need it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but friends, welcome in. I have uh, a little video for you. Enjoy. Hi Raiders, I'm Jet, your fourth favorite streamer. Yeah, fourth. You know, the guy you end up with when your favorites are offline and you misclicked my channel. Before we dive in, aw, Snapsicles, this is a family-friendly stream. Please keep your chats cozy and clean or my mods will be on you like a pack of wild pumas. Looking for a triple threat? Gaming, chatting, and looks? Well, let me tell you why I'm called Triple Jet. When it comes to gaming, we dive into puzzles, indie games, RPGs, and mysteries. But the biggest mystery of all will be why you're still watching. Like to chat? Well, we get so derailed, it's like we're a train to nowhere and I'm your conductor. Choo choo. And when it comes to looks, I am like the solar eclipse. Best not to look at. Now, if you want a good streamer, follow the creators I just linked in chat. They will obliterate my stream like a snap from Thanos. Mr. Bezos, I don't feel so good. But if you like the wonderfully wrecked vibe of a beat up pinata, then you're in the right place. The candy's mostly gone, but we can still keep it sweet. So drop a follow and we'll make this siesta fiesta the absolute besta. Got a jet? 
So welcome in everyone. I hope you had a great day. Uh, Sluggy, what were you playing? What were you doing today? Let me give you the, the old shouty outs. Uh, what were you doing? Let's see here. Uh, Midnight Witch. How was that? I don't think I've even heard of that. Uh, how did it go? How was it? Welcome in, Raiders. Uh, yes, we just started Call of Boba. We have not gotten very far at all. Uh, so far, uh, the writing has, has seemed good. Uh, the art style is very lovely. I do enjoy Boba, so... Uh, this was a game when I saw it, I was like, oh, this looks, this looks adorable. I, I really want to play it. Um, uh, I found the game last night. It's on, it's free on Steam and it's a horror visual novel. The dialogues are chef's kiss. Oh boy. I, I am such a baby when it comes to horror stuff. So I know I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, <laughs> but that's so cool. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I hope it's a, uh, you know, I guess it's good if it's a visual novel. It's good that the, the writing is good. Um. Because, yeah, otherwise, no bueno. <laughs> um, but that's so fun. One sluggy, I know what it's like after a stream. Um, so if you need a, you know, lounge lurk, etc., I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the raid. Uh, but make sure you take care of yourself. Uh, grab, you know, get, a, get some food or just, you know, rehydrate or whatever. Do what you have to do. Um, uh, we're going to be here for quite a bit longer. We haven't been streaming for very long. Uh, I don't know how many demos we're going to do today. We had to stop at a cliffhanger, so I can't wait for tomorrow to continue. Excuse me. Oh, that's so fun. We played um, the newest Famicom Detective Club game not too long ago, and there's so many cliffhangers. It made stopping every, every stream just so rough. Now I can go get dinners and see this demo because I'm in love with this Bumble game. Yeah, it is. It is so good. Um, so Bobo over here, uh, the penguin, um, uh, we just ran into a childhood friend named Stellar. We, we have left our corporate job, um, and, uh, have moved to a small town without much direction. I assume we're about to find, discover that direction here very, very shortly. Uh, so this is our friend Stellar. Just wait a moment. I'll make one right away. Uh, they're making a, a drink for us. Uh, there's this other great demo called Nights in Tight Spaces. I loved uh, to play it. I'll have to take a look at that. Actually, this is my grandfather's milk tea shop. Remember, when we were kids, we always had a drink here. But then everything changed. Only my grandfather's shop remained. And now my grandfather's gone too. But I don't want it to be forgotten. So I came back here. Come on, try the taste. How is it? Wow, it's the taste from my childhood. I love, like, again, I love the, the art of the characters. It's so good. That's good. Feeling a bit better now? <laughs> Much better. Thank you. Your special menu is indeed perfect. Thanks. I, I'm still confident in my skills. Yeah, it, the art is... It is very good. And I love just like the, like the art of the characters is good, but also just like the pixel art is very detailed and like it looks very cool. But I don't know if I can run the shop like my grandpa. My parents, they can't understand me. They, they don't get why I choose to stay in a small town all day instead of going out to explore the world. The shop has been barely making ends meet for a long time. Many people advise me to give up, but these are too many things I care, but there are too many things I care about here. I'm not quite, I'm not ready to quit the shop and move somewhere else. You, but I'm afraid I can't do it alone. I can't preserve my grandfather's taste. So Bobo, could you help me? I, okay, I'll help. Actually, I have nowhere else to go. Really? Bobo, oh my goodness, meeting you today is the luckiest thing for me. It's the same for me, too. Why don't we start right now? I'll show you around the shop. It'll be fun, I promise. 
Welcome to our milk tea shop. Now let me, let me, a true milk tea master, teach you how to make a one-of-a-kind milk tea. Are you ready? First of all, any of our milk tea must be made by our staff before it can be put on the menus. When you collect the necessary ingredients, you can come here often to make and unlock new drink recipes. Here are some ingredients. Take them and use them first. Now click on the cup on the table and start making milk tea. It's your first day, so let's make a super classic boba milk tea. Let's make the snooze ads. Okay. Confirm. Making milk tea is an art that requires constant observation of how much each ingredient is needed. First, you need to gently pour some base ingredients, boba, into the cup. Secondly, you need to add the base liquid, milk and black tea. Uh, you need to add the base liquid of this cup of milk tea with love, and this classic boba milk tea is done. Try it out. If you pour too much ingredients, you can click the reset button to make it again. So, a medium amount of boba. It seems a medium amount, right? Oh, okay, we have to wait for that. Perfect. Let's do a small amount of... Do I have to do it in order? I think I have to do it in order. Uh-oh. I feel like I've messed this up. Oh, we're good there. Perfect. Wow, you've made a very good boba milk tea. Let the let me, the manager, taste it. Slurp, slurp. The store manager walked away with the boba milk tea uh, you just made with slurping sounds when drinking it. Consider, uh, consider this as, as a success. Let's get ready to open the store and run it. Now let me teach you how to combine your ingredients, uh, inventory, and decide which drinks and how many to offer every day when you open. Please click on the menu. You've already made this boba milk tea recipe. Now try to use the boba ingredients I just gave you to add boba milk tea to today's drink menu. Please add boba. Okay, so we add something that we have recipe for. Confirm. Oh, wait. How many do I add? I don't know how many we need for the day. Very good. You're really getting the hang of it, aren't you? However, you need to pay attention that if the ingredients for the selected drink run out, you need to choose another drink to put or get more ingredients later. When you have more different kinds of recipes or ingredients, try to unlock more recipes and add them to the menu. Fill your menu with as many ingredients as possible. Next, I will personally demonstrate how to make a drink during shop operations and hand it over to the customer. Before we get started, let me show you how to make the perfect milk tea. Bobo, could you go to the counter and order a boba milk tea? Of course. By the way, Ross, how are you? How's your how's your workday going? Can I get a boba milk tea, please? Sure, my dear guest. Please wait a moment. So it shows the thing. First, grab a cup from here. Next, let's come to the topping station and select the required toppings. For this drink, we'll need boba. Right, this is the sink. If you mess up an order or add the wrong ingredients, just pour the drink out here and start fresh. Next, we need to come here and add some milk. Add some black tea too. After all, milk and tea are essential parts of the milk tea. So I guess it's like, once you've done the recipe, you don't have to worry about the amounts when you're making it for people. You just go for the ingredients. So, Boba, the correct order is cup, toppings, liquid. Remember, don't mix up the order. Uh, this is how you make a cup of Boba milk tea. The rest is... Just give it to the customer with their order. So, this is how to make a cup of milk tea. Awesome. 
The orders in the milk tea shop are divided into two types. Uh, the first is called takeout orders. Customers may be in a hurry or want to drink while walking. These customers' orders are often urgent. Second type of order is a dine-in. These customers enjoy leisurely time. The, or the customers' orders are not very urgent, but it, they often have certain requirements for the environment and service of the store. Uh, also, we have to pause uh, just so we can run ads. Um, so, friends, if you need to stand up, stretch, etc., now is a perfect time to go do so, uh, Sluggy. Uh, I bet you want to download this right now and give it a, give it a shot. Um, so uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes, friends. BRB. Take this pause to rejuvenate. Stand. Stretch. Hydrate. We will be back in just a few moments. And welcome back, everybody. I love your BRB screen. Thank you, Sluggy. <laughs> it is. It has been a work in progress. Uh, <laughs> over time, many things have been added and taken away, and then added again. Uh, but I appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right. So we learned that. Confirm. Right, let's see how this works. Please click open to start your business. Now we anxiously wait for customers. Hello. Uh, oh. Right, 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 right. Uh, 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 interact. What do we have here? Um, wait a minute. Oh, right, that's the sink to like. <laughs> wait a minute. Where's the boba? 
Oh no. Uh, this isn't. Who? Is the bubble here? Ah, it's here. I see now. Okay. Uh. Look, I didn't know. Giraffe is upset. Oh no. Oh no. It's not, it's not going well. This is, this is going well. Yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> Trying to at least, no, nobody's happy. Look at this very dapper penguin right here. Look, I'm sorry, but. Oh. That person's not getting theirs. It's literally my first day and our friend isn't helping us. Sounds like, you know. This is bad managing. What is this? Who are you, sir? Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, this is very dapper penguin right there. What is this? Satisfaction, one heart, love it. We made 89 coins. Uh, we did not level up. <laughs> MVP, well, we only had one thing. <laughs> that friend is great. Yeah, just stand there and watch me fail. By the way, where are you living now? Is it close by or is it a bit of a hassle to get here? Actually, I just came back today. Haven't found a place yet, but there should be quite a few houses nearby. I'll go take a look in a while. Ah, uh, if you don't mind, how about living with me? There are several empty rooms in my house. Won't that bother you? How could it? I'll only be super happy living with you. Just like when we were kids. That sounds good. Great, let's go home and take a look now. Just this huge house to, to themselves. Here it is, not bad, right? The first floor is the living room and kitchen, and the second floor is the bedroom. Your room is the first one on the right on the second floor. Let's head upstairs and check it out. All right, thanks. I wonder if this was their grandfather's place. Am I staying in the dead grandfather's room? Is the room haunted? Do we know? Uh, wait, you already have decorated it for me? I live right next to you, so if you need anything, just let me know. What is this place? <laughs> is this like a... I'm very confused how this like housing situation works. All right, a lot has happened today. So uh, get some rest. Tomorrow our teamwork officially kicks off. Good night, Bobo. Okay, good night. This is cute. This is very cute. Look at the... Look at the... That's so adorable. Is this my dream? It seems that we have to find the exit in this place to escape from it. What's with this gun? It looks like a cup of boba milk tea. It can't shoot boba, right? It is unlikely, right? Tip, use the directional keys to move. Use the joystick mouse to aim. And the, and the interact key to interact. Battle instructions. I don't know what's happening. Bobo is in a dream world where monsters he once feared roam. Randomly dropping ingredients for boba tea. Explore the map, find the exit, or defeat the boss to help Bobo escape the dream and collect more ingredients. Map instructions, white tiles, unexplored rooms, black tile, your current location, yellow tiles, explored rooms, tiles with a green symbol exi uh, exits, find one to escape the dream, tiles with a skull symbol, boss monster rooms. Oh my gosh. What is the, what is that meter? This is <laughs> best game, I know. A 
obtain. Oh, we're getting ingredients. Are we at max health? I guess so. Tip, there is a chance to drop ingredients after defeating the enemy. Try a variety of passive boost cards. I didn't read that. Uh, sugar, bullet damage up. Eating too much sugar is bad for your health. So maybe your health goes up. Bullet speed up, so spicy. Bullet size up. Let's try that. So this is like a roguelike. Uh, cats with boxing gloves, best game. This, it's, oh, hello. Okay, so this, this is, oh, this is our, this is our boss. From the, uh, our corporate job. Oh, right, we're like in an office building. Makes sense. We really are facing our, like, fears for, what is this? Coconut jelly. Honestly, I think would play like a whole game that's just this. To change your ammo type, approach ammunition on the ground and pick it up using the interact key. Oh. What is the difference with this? Not that I guess it matters because we're waking up. I wonder how this like affects things. I didn't sleep well last night. It felt like something was disturbing my dreams. Today, I need to meet up with the manager for the regular shift. I can't be late. Tip music here, uh, arrows to move. Oh, interesting. So those are, hold on. Can we like, I just want to, I guess we can't water that plant. Oh, wait a minute. So there's fishing? <laughs> if we have a fishing rod, there's fishing? Good morning, Bobo, how was your rest? Morning, <laughs> slept really well last night. Let's go, uh, shall we, to Shelter Lane? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's the weather. I guess it's potentially raining. It is. Is there a map? There is. Okay, perfect. Uh, I just want to. Whoops. Oh, home. Okay, so I'm. Tr I want to see if we can get to this river. There we go. Second demo uh, done. Wishlisted. Which which game was that? Sassy. I just want to see. Before fishing, players need to switch to the fishing rod using the tool switch key and then use the interaction key to fish. When fishing, players need to listen to the rhythm of the music and use the corresponding directional keys in a timely manner to successfully catch the fish. I feel like I am going to hate this.
At least, okay, it looks like it's pretty forgiving. These insane fishing mini games get more out there with each game. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try it one more time. Seriously. <laughs> I I like fishing minigames when they're a little bit more simple. Um <laughs> I'm also very bad at rhythm games, I feel like. Wait, oh, my bad. So that I, I have that working against me. How did this start? Do I need to push something when he's like... There you go. Okay, so when they're they're pulling the thing. I wonder if there's like rare fish? And if so, like is it... I don't think I missed one. I wonder if they're like... Some of the, if it's like if some of the rhythm games are more difficult or all right I think what we'll do is we'll stop there because I feel like we kind we've gotten the the gist of it um, and it's fun I love this mechanic I I am so bad at rhythm games so I don't, I I I'm shying away from the fishing um, but uh, uh, I will say I really enjoyed the art style, and uh, it seems like a very cozy, fun game. So I'm, I'm curious to know what happens in the story. Dexterous Time to Steal. Interesting. What kind of game is it? Also, make sure you, you post these in the, the Discord, Sassy. I'm sorry to dislike fishing. I used to not mind, but then stuff like this happens. Yeah, I think it for me, it depends on the game. Like, I actually really like, they added fishing to No Man's Sky. Um, but it's very simple. Like it's, it's honestly very easy. Um, match three roguelike. Interesting. Um, so, but yeah, I think the more difficult or like the more complicated it is, the less I enjoy it. Like I kind of want them to be a little bit more just, I don't know, sort of relaxing. Um, all right. Um, the next one. We will try is, gosh, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to do next. Um, Let's do this one. I don't think there will be, since we did a lot of reading just now, I don't think this one will have a lot of reading. I want, uh, in Animal Crossing, it's, it's simple too, but requires concentration, yeah. I'll post them all in the Discord when I get through the first set. Nice. Okay. I want simplicity when when fishing. I agree. I am right there with you. Uh, all right. It looks like this will work. This one's called Mainframes. Uh, I saw... Uh, let's see. Boop. Mainframes. Uh, I really like the art style of this. It's, it's a puzzle game. Puzzle platformer. Um... I'm not using a controller, but I like that they have the option for for this. I saw this one uh, during my search for games. Yeah, the fishing one I don't like is Stardews. Give me this one any day. I don't like rhythm games, but I don't like Stardews e either. Um, this is actually on my like very top recommended. I would also like to, or not recommended, but like when I opened up the Steam Next Fest, this was like the top thing. Uh, but I would like to point out that uh, it has invincibility, infinite jump, and infinite spin, uh, which I think is cool. <laughs> Congratulations on your purchase of Mainframes, a handmade, locally sourced product. We recommend adjusting the audio. Uh, this is the demo, of course, but... Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I see. What? What? This is already great. Yeah, isn't it? Like the you're jumping in in like. Hi there, I'm Ms. Key, Miss uh, Ms. Key. 
I see you've got a lot of permissions. Activate me and I'll open that door for you ever so carefully. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Oh, this music. I won't disappear, I'll just move to another screen. It seems you require some help. To move the selected window, use... I guess that's probably left. Click. Oh! This is... I'm moving this. <laughs> this is neat. Uh... Look, you're the save icon, says every one of my Gen Alpha students. Let's go. This is very cool. I'm gonna say this is on my wish list. To select, I think it's already on my wish list. I, I kind of, as I was downloading demos, just added them all to the wish list. But to select another window, use the left or right click. Uh, wait a minute. Does this have a thing that I can jump on? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's why. Whoops. Ah, but I need to move you out of the way. I see. Wait a minute. Can I put you up here? Yeah, I can. So you jump and then you hit like uh, a direction you'll kind of slide. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Uh, adding this to the to be played list at number 42. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are glitches. I assume we're not supposed to. I assume we're not supposed to touch this. Oh yeah. Oh wait, can I do? Yeah, wait, hold on. Ah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I know what we do. Okay, so I just go here. I live for next fest weeks. I played 45 demos in June. Wild. Okay, so these we cannot move. Looks like. Gosh. This is cool. I I am a fan. Maybe I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe I can do something like this. Yep. We got there. Oh. What was that shadow? Oh! It's, it's giving me a... Ah, so if you spin, you can jump longer. I've been getting into demos only recently. So much fun stuff. I, I've actually really never been much of a demo person. panic um because i i tend to like to only play games like i don't know i like to play games that are done i guess and like because i kind of hate when you then end up liking a game and you're like and then you're like well i want to play more of this but i can't now You know, if that makes sense. I love that Jet started playing them. Now I can see even more demos. It's true. It's, it's like we're, um, 
This demo scenario is really confusing. Yeah, that's because I skipped the intro. You can't do that. Of course I can. Look. What is happening? What was it? Oh! Look at that, that's cool. So, the, cause they're like arrows, so. We go left or right. Hello, who are you? Oh, we have a friend now. Oh, wait, but me. Was I just supposed to take them there? I guess so. Nope, I probably should have waited. Oh gosh. Real this game is an immediate wish list. It's very cool. Um, you should have skipped the intro, obviously. I didn't. I didn't. It's just the demo. The demo just started us off. So this is, is this like explaining what we're doing? Like who we are, kind of. I wonder if all these like file files got mixed up or something. They got lost. Maybe I need to do like, oh, that's dumb. Maybe I need to do some. quite even, you know? Like, he doesn't quite follow me. This almost seems timing-based, yeah. But, like, he didn't wall jump there. Can he not wall jump? Maybe that's part of the problem. Yeah, it can't do- it also can't do the double jump. Oh! What? You just jump- jump the wall. Nice. Okay. I'll take that. Oh my gosh. It's fine. I'm glad I didn't reset that level. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Oh my gosh. Boop. No! Ah! Ah! We did it. Okay. I, I rather like the music. Oh my goodness. At least the, like, respawn. Oh my gosh. At least the respawning is not... It doesn't take too long to do that. Oh, we're fine. I do like the music in this, how it how it changes and adapts. Yeah, it's really neat. Oh. 
I understand you really want to get to the gameplay, but can can't we at least include a cutscene or some dialogues to have a little context? Okay, I'll add a scene with great big walls of text. You will love it. Uh oh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I do love a game with a little bit of humor. I think that's what I need to do. But avoid. Wow! I wonder if this would be easier with a controller. Amen. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So this. Oh. Hmm, okay. Wait a minute. There you go. The music is sounding a bit ominous. Oh, wait. Why is it that? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it's staying that way now. Nice. Door up top. Oh. Can we? Let's go down here first. Who are you? Uh, okay. What? Ten out of ten, the humor matches the lore, but honestly, the music, though. Yeah, the music is very good. I, I enjoy this type of. Oops. Are you okay up there? What's going on? I don't understand how you move. Okay. Oh, maybe it can land on green things, like those green lines? Maybe that's what it is. scooch some things around. I don't know if this will help us necessarily. Yeah, man. 
I don't know how we're supposed to... Can I... Oh! And then you let go. Right, okay, so... Oh. Ah, oh, so close. Who are the who is this like little guy in the elevator? What's his deal? We have two tabs. That's kind of neat. Okay. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. Okay. Have the idea, so we need. Oops. So click twice and land on the wall. Coordination. Two clicks. Okay. Careful. <laughs> so it's it's two clicks then one That was nearly not as difficult. Oh. I see. Hmm. But if I... I think what we'll do, we'll stop there. I feel like we've gotten a good idea of the game. I don't know. I don't know if we have to continue. Um, 
but that's very interesting. I really like um, the aesthetics and stuff. I, that's actually one of the reasons why I downloaded it, because I was like, this looks very cool. I like that the levels are like uh, computer windows. So I'm down with that. Uh, mainframes, that was. Um, all right. What do I want to try? Let us try. See if this opens up. And how much longer till it adds? 20 minutes. Not bad. We'll see if it opens up. Uh, so let's see. So far, we have done Overthrown, Call of Boba, and Mainframes. Let me go ahead and start. Monday, we say overthrown. Call of Boba main frames. This one isn't starting. Let's see. Uh, compatibility. All right. Let's see if this works. while we're waiting. I think it's thinking about launching. Curse Bane uh, is the game I'm trying to launch right now. And it looks interesting. I don't think it's a game for everybody. Like, I, I don't know if you all would like it. But it's another roguelike, and I do enjoy roguelike. Um, it's not launching. Let me try. I changed the compatibility here for the um, Steam Deck to see if it would... It would work. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I pretty much have ten more. I guess what we'll do, we'll run ads while this is working. Maybe it just is taking a longer time to launch for some reason. Because we're about to have to play ads anyway. So, I'll run ads, we'll BRB, and then uh, hopefully this opens while we're in BRB. So. Stand up, stretch, stand up, stretch, etc. Grab a snack, and we'll be back here in just a couple of moments. B R B. Take this pause to rejuvenate. Stand, stretch, hydrate. We will be back in just a few moments.
right, welcome back, everybody. I think kind of change of plans. Um, so the game is not launching. Um, the game isn't launching. I wonder if there's like a, a bug with the demo because it's it says it's launching and then it just doesn't. Um, I left it on going that whole time. Um, the other games that I have here are a lot of like ones that I feel like are going to take a like they kind of look like longer demos um and so I don't think I want to start them now because I feel like I wouldn't be able to give them like a good enough shot um so I think we're just gonna stop here uh we've we don't have I mean I've kind of limited my demo options so was there a Valorant demo? There wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there were a bunch of shooter ones. I didn't download any, though. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. But, um, Ross, how are you? How's your day? I hope you're having a, I hope you're having a good one. Um, yeah, there, there, we have some, like, really cool ones. But, again, I think they're all going to be longer demos. And so, I'm like, I'll just wait till tomorrow, I think. Currently playing demo three. It's also very fun. Which one's that, Sassy? Good works kicking my butt the last week or two, but still enjoying it. Well, that's good. Uh, oh yeah, because of the your your job change and all that. I don't think I've even asked about how that's been going, but Smurfs dreams. Oh boy, <laughs> like the Smurfs, as in the the blue people. This isn't launching for some reason. This one is a so Curse Bane was the one I was trying to launch. It's a roguelike katana fighting game. It looks so good. The or the pixel art is so good. Interesting. That's that's wild that they have a demo out for this. I guess Ninja Turtles do too. So, um, yeah, I've got Locomotive, but that's a point and click. Cloud Valley, Cloudy Valley, uh, which kind of reminds me of a short hike. Keep driving, I'm very excited to try, uh, which is uh, an atmospheric management RPG about life on the open road. The art style is so good. Uh, and like the UI and all that, I'm very excited to try that. Pine, a story of loss. I feel like we will play the full game of this, but it does look very sad, and I don't want to start that right now. <laughs> Neon Blood, which is a point and click, I believe. Looks like it. Um, but that the style of Neon Blood looks so good. Toads of the Bayou, I have been very excited about, but that one I think is going to be a longer demo. That one's like a strategy... RPG or whatever. Uh, Cozy Knots looks pretty interesting, but I feel like that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of setup. Uh, I downloaded one. I don't know if we'll get to this one. Mouse Busters. Luma Island, which is another like life sim, cozy sim thing. Wild Planet, which looks kind of interesting. It's a chill survival game. Uh, and then Curse Bane, and that's the list that I have. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and stop here, and then tomorrow we'll pick it up, and uh, at least we'll kind of have, we'll be ready for some for some longer ones, because I, I bet a lot of the story ones and point and click ones and, and stuff are going to have like a lot of reading. I don't feel like doing that right now. So, uh, friends, that's going to be it for us today, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoy the new emote. Uh, and I hope you like the new stream stuff. But before we go, let me give out a couple of thank yous real fast uh, to... Where are we? Uh, Baz, thank you so much for the 10 stream streak. Sassy for the 70 stream streak. Too much to bear for resubscribing, but also for um, bumping up your subscription to a, uh, a tier two. Thank you so much for doing that. That is very generous of you. Uh, Mary for the resub, Sassy uh, for gifting us up to Runner, uh, Too Much to Bear for gifting us up to Baz, 
uh, Brad for the 105 stream streak, uh, Foxed Game Dev, Giant Warrior Studio, and Zrill for the follows, Opons for the resub for three years, incredible. Um, Raf, thank you so much for the resub for four months. It's wild that it's already been four. And Sluggy for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, friends, uh, I hope you enjoy demos and the rest of your day. If you try some demos, make sure you check out the thread in the Discord under General Gaming. You can mention uh, which demos you've been playing and if, which ones you've liked and uh, all of that stuff. At the end of every stream, I'll try to update that and uh, with the, the demos we've played. So if you would like to go back uh, and play any of those for yourself, you'll know which ones we played each day. Um, but friends, that is it for us today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of yours. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!